Welcome to My Ink Art Experiment, a workshop organized as part of the Small Big Dreamers at Home online festival. My name is Julin and I am an artist specializing in ink art. I am excited to take you through today's workshop that is inspired by this ink painting, My Ink Credible Adventure by another Singaporean artist, Yo Shi Yun. We are going to learn about the basics of ink painting and by the end of the workshop, let's make an ink art work together to apply what we have learned. Are you ready? Let's go! Ink has been used thousands of years ago all over the world, including by the Europeans, Egyptians and Indians who used it to write and draw. Ink is also an important art medium throughout Asia. The Chinese especially have been using ink for over 5,000 years and they continue to do so actively. There are many different types of ink, for example, acrylic ink and Indian ink. But one of the most commonly used ink in visual arts is Chinese ink. Chinese ink now comes in a liquid form. It can be poured out into a dish. The great thing about liquid ink is its convenience. Liquid ink was invented in the 1880s. And before this, people used ink sticks like this. It is used with an ink stone like this one. First, drip a few drops of water and then grind the ink stick in a circular motion. Can you see how the water is slowly turning black? This is ink. It definitely takes effort to grind the ink like this, but some artists prefer this type of ink because of its quality. Ink can come in different colours, although the most common one is black. There are artists who love to use ink because it is versatile and it can give different appearances. For example, ink can be thick or concentrated, or ink can also be thin or diluted with water. This can be presented in different combinations. For example, this brush stroke will present concentrated and diluted ink at the same time. Ink can appear wet or dry. So a very wet brush will make the wet appearance. Whereas a very dry brush will create a very dry ink appearance, like so. There you have it, the different appearances of ink. Ink painting is a general term for drawings or paintings created mostly with ink. Traditionally, there are ink paintings from China and Korea. In Japan, ink paintings are known as sumi-e. In Europe and America, traditional ink art might be more typically referred to as drawings, illustration, or sketches. Ink was often used with metal point and watercolour. Today, artists all over the world continue to create ink works that uses traditional styles and techniques, but artists can also refer to modern styles. One example is Yo Shi Yun. Let us observe Yo Shi Yun's My Incredible Adventure. Can you describe the appearance of the ink with what you have just learned? What colour ink do you think she used in this work? Is the ink more dry or wet? Is the ink concentrated or thinly applied? Yes, ink in some portions are more diluted than others. Her work is featured at Keppel Centre for Art Education as an immersive ink installation for families and children. I would encourage you to visit the centre with your family to experience her work. Do you notice something interesting about how Yo Shi Yun creates her ink paintings? Yes, indeed. Yo Shi Yun used robots, for example, to hold the brushes to apply the ink on paper. When it comes to making her ink paintings, she likes to experiment with things like robots and music. To better appreciate her inventiveness, let us take a closer look at some of the regular instruments used to apply ink. These brush pens have been used by Chinese, Japanese, Korean, and Vietnamese ink painters as well. By suspending the brush pen above the surface, 
the tip can be turned all 360 degrees to create different marks on the surface. Let me show you. The brush band can create thin lines. It can also create a thicker line if it is pressed down more onto the surface. Notice how I use the same brush pen to create the different effects. Brush pens differ in length, width and size. Long and short, big and small. They are made of different materials such as goat hair, weasel hair, synthetic materials or a mix. So, different brush pen can create different types of marks as well. For example, a small brush pen like this can create very thin lines. A big brush pen can of course create thicker lines. Like so. The Chinese also have a finger painting tradition where artists would use their bare hands and fingernails to apply ink on paper. Traditional artists also sometimes pour the ink directly onto the surface. There are also traditional writing instruments from Europe and America, such as quills, and more recently, deep pens like this. They come with different nibs and different widths. Notice how they create different lines and textures. Traditionally, they also use paint brushes like this that come in different size and materials. Similarly, different instruments create different types of marks. Contemporary artists may choose from all these traditional instruments as well as pens and markers that are pre-loaded with ink. And these come in different weaves and ink colours. Now, let's apply everything that we've learned and create an ink art experiment. The objective is not only to create an ink drawing inspired by Yo Shi Yun's work, but also to better appreciate the different types of writing instruments you have. Remember to seek help from an accompanying adult if you need for these activities. These are the materials that you will need. Five or more different types of ink-based writing instruments such as markers, highlighters, pens, and select instruments from different brands so that you can have a variety of ink for this artwork. You may choose different colours as well. You may also use different brushes and ink or other wet medium such as watercolour or poster colour. Get ready some paper and some water in a dish. Now, let's begin. First, dip your finger in water and draw some circles and lines on the paper with your wet finger. Next, use your different writing instruments to draw any types of circles and lines on the paper. I'm beginning with this marker. As you draw, be sure to notice the marks that you are producing. Are the lines thick or thin? Are the marks wet or dry? How does the ink react when it goes over the wet area? You can choose to wet the paper again if you wish by dripping some water onto the paper with your fingers. When you are finished, take some time to observe the lines and marks that you have created and discuss your preferences. I am going to add more lines now. There you have it. This is my ink art experiment. Thank you everyone for joining us in My Ink Art Experiment, which is a program part of the Small Big Dreamers at Home Online Festival. 
We hope you had fun learning more about how versatile ink and ink painting can be, as seen through Yu Shi Yun's My Ink Credible Adventure. You can also experience her work as an immersive ink installation at the National Gallery Singapore's Keppel Centre for Art Education. And find out more at the Ink Studio there. My Ink Credible Adventure is also available on the Small Big Dreamers at Home online festival website until the end of this month. If you want to share your ink work with us, feel free to email us at programs at nationalgallery.sg. We would love to see it. Join us tomorrow where you will learn more about colours and how they are used in art. Until then, see you!